I just received my new 3D printer. It's a Bamboo Lab P1S and it's supposed to work right out of the box. No manual calibration, no bad leveling, which for me was the biggest selling point because I'm not a 3D printing nerd. I just want this printer to be a tool for building custom motorcycles. So let's see how easy it actually is to use this printer. During my last project, I started 3D printing with a relatively cheap printer that I got secondhand off eBay, and it very quickly became one of my most valuable tools. I not only used it to make prototypes, but also to make my own tools, which otherwise would have been super expensive or not even available at all. So it was a great thing to have. However, my printer required a lot of work just to make it work. I spent countless hours learning how to properly calibrate it, and even then, it would every now and then give me failed prints like this. Well, that did not work. All right, I think I better stop this. That doesn't look good at all. That just required a lot of time to clean up, and it became very annoying and frustrating. And that's why I'm so excited about this Bamboo Lab P1S printer, because supposedly it just works. And if it does, I would say this is the perfect printer for you as a custom bike builder or for anyone who just wants to use their 3D printer as a tool. So let's put it to the test. That's already the printer setup. This literally took less than five minutes. You have to take out all of the padding and then remove a few screws. It's all very nicely explained in this quick start guide. All you have to do is literally on two pages. So that is very, very simple. I'm gonna put the filament on here and then we can already start a test print because apparently Bamboo Lab has some test prints already on here so that we can just go ahead and see if it actually works. So that was the self-test. That took about five minutes. It went through a bunch of different motions and tested itself. And now we can go ahead and see if we can find the first print so we can actually do first test. Consider me impressed. That is absolutely incredible. Set up less than 15 minutes. And then when I started the print, it automatically went into bad leveling mode. I didn't have to do anything. It leveled itself. And once it was done, it started to just print. And the quality is amazing. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use it for the Harley build. Today is the 1st of March. Print with it for a few weeks put it through its paces and then I will give you my final thoughts because at the moment I am super impressed. I'm blown away by how easy it is, how good it prints. But let's see if that's still the case in a few weeks time. It's now a few months later and I guess it's time for my final verdict on the P1S. It's the 21st of July, so I had the printer for almost five months now and it printed almost every day. A lot has changed in those five months. The Harley finally looks like a dirt bike, like I imagined it and not like a chopper anymore. Still a lot of projects that I need to complete, but the printer definitely helped along the way. And not only with that, I found projects for the workshop, I found projects for the house. I feel like a 3D printer is one of those tools where when you start, you might only know that you need it for one or two tasks, but when you have it, you see so many more. And I can say it has absolutely exceeded all of my expectations. I was already hyped when I unpacked this, but now I'm even more hyped because 
This printer is so easy to use, super reliable. Out of the hundreds of prints that I've done, not one of the prints has failed, which is also why my favorite feature of this printer is still the auto bed leveling and auto calibration procedure before every print. It just makes it so easy to use and super reliable. On my old printer, I had to use a piece of paper on the build plate and then kind of like see where it's high, where it's low, adjust it with the wheels underneath and try to get it level. I also had to measure and calibrate the filament feeding and put that into the printer software. So next I'm going to download a software called Pronterface, which will allow me to send a command to the 3D printer, hopefully, <laughs> if it works out, um, that says, okay, now extrude exactly 10 centimeters of filament. And it was just such a pain. This one does it every time on its own and it has never failed me. Even with very challenging prints like the outer sleeve of the exhaust prototype that I printed for the Harley, which is very, very thin and could have failed very easily, especially on my old printer. But on this one, there was no problem. And I even printed that overnight because after printing my first few prints, I gained so much confidence that I now load up like eight hour, nine hour, 10 hour prints and I just have it run overnight. And I'm 99.9% .9 certain that it will come out perfectly in the morning. And even if I get a little bit anxious, there's another nice thing about this bamboo setup, which I actually in the beginning thought wouldn't be such a big deal to me. And that is that you can use the built-in camera to check on your print. I thought this would be a gimmick, but it actually helped me a lot to gain confidence in the printer. And also now when I'm away and I have prints in there that take hours, I can simply check every now and then and even could stop it remotely to prevent the printer going off and printing in the air. This one never did until now, but in case it happens, you have the backup in your phone, which is very nice. Apart from the mobile app, I also use the Bamboo Studio on my computer, which is Bamboo's slicing software. If you're new to 3D printing, a slicing software is basically the software that takes your design and then cuts it into layers and then tells your 3D printer where it has to go when and what it has to do. So that software basically connects your design software to your printer and having one that is easy but also packed with functionality is definitely a plus. It makes it super seamless to get your design into your printer because from Fusion 360, it's just a few clicks. Then I have it in Bumble Studio and these softwares can look quite overwhelming, but you basically just need five different parameters in order to make your print work. You can obviously dive a lot deeper into this, but I only change like five. The first one that I like a lot is the auto orientation feature where Bamboo Studio analyzes your part and then orients it in the most optimal way for printing. You can also take that part and multiply it and then orient multiple parts. You can also here cut a piece in half in case it's too big. That for example happened with the exhaust that I wanted to print. Once you've adjusted the few parameters, you can slice the plate and then send it directly via Wi-Fi to your printer it does the setup procedure and then just starts printing. And if you have very long prints, like eight hour prints or something like that, it can happen that you run out of filament. On my old printer, that would have probably meant that I would have to toss the first half of the print and then restart with a new spool of filament. But actually with a P1S, that's not a big problem. It will tell you that it ran out of filament. It will remember where it stopped. You can just load a new roll of filament and then continue the print as if nothing had happened. And speaking of filament changes, filament changes on this printer are another thing that are super, super simple. They take probably less than a minute from unloading to reloading the filament. You just go ahead, go into the menu, say unload, it heats up, it tells you when it's ready, you pull out the old filament. And to load the new spool of filament, you go into the menu again, you press load filament, it heats up, it tells you when it's ready for the filament to be pushed in. And then it asks you if you can see the filament coming out at the bottom. Once you do, you confirm. It pushes out all of the old filament, cleans the nozzle on its own, and then you're ready to print again. And that again goes to show just how easy it is to use this printer. I am so amazed and I can't encourage you enough if you want to get into 3D printing to pick one up for yourself. I know that this one 
can be quite pricey for someone getting into 3D printing. If you are going to use it as a tool, I would definitely recommend the P1S. But if you just want to experiment, I think you can get any of the Bamboo Lab printers and have a great experience. I guess nowadays it's probably the hardest to learn how to actually design the parts that you then want to print. But also that is very doable. There are many great channels on YouTube that show you how to 3D design, but also amazing courses that you can get if you want to dive a little bit deeper in the, the topic. I'm gonna to link you a great one down below. I hope this video was helpful to you. As always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.